Hey y'all. So we out here at my auntie house. Everybody here to support her. Show they love. P, where you at? We live. We out here supporting. Nephew, most definitely. Yes. Out here, drama free, no drama. Everybody is out here. I appreciate everybody that came, everybody that gave their condolences to my auntie, to us. We really appreciate all the love and support. We are not supporting the burning buildings and all of that. Like, they they taking shit way too far. But um, as far as rioting, I'm 100% behind it because that shit weak that they did to my little cousin. And he, he ain't deserved that. All he did was wrong. And they failing to report everything else that's going on. As far as him going to jail um, and them not even having a case on him, had him there for 10 months, steady trying to pin cases on him. When they let him out, they were steady harassing him, constantly harassing him at gas stations, wherever he went, calling him by his first name. You know what I'm saying? They not reporting none of that stuff. And he had a lawsuit against them and won, but they not reporting none of that. They just, you know, they going to say what the fuck they want to say on the news. They forgetting to, to, to report that he got a two-year-old son. Right, and it's the police that killed him. They going to do anything to cover that book. Cool. Um, they, um... They fail in a report that uh, he got a two-year-old son that lives with him, that he's there for every single day. They out here making him look like he just some damn hoodlum and some villain. He ain't no angel, but he ain't deserve none of the shit that happened to him, period, at all. And that shit that they saying about him is false and inaccurate as a motherfucker. Ben keeps saying that he's a felon and he's not. And he's not a felon. Where are they getting that from? And they won't even tell. My auntie still ain't seen her son's body. When they took her to view his body, these dirty motherfuckers showed her a picture of his, of his dead body. They still didn't let her physically see his body. That's just how dirty them motherfuckers is. They didn't even let her see his body. They took her from the scene over there on 44th an hour, took her to go see his body, but all they did was bring out a picture of him to identify her son. After four and a half hours of him already being dead. So, fuck the police. The alderman right there. And the alderman right here, he walking off. The alderman came over here. Hey, MJ, get up off that car. And then all these people keep coming over here. We don't even know who told the reporters where we at, but my auntie don't want to talk to nobody. Like, she don't want to talk to none of them. And I don't blame her. She don't even, she, she it ain't even nothing for her to tell them because she don't even know what's going on. The police not telling her what's going on at all. And what I'm not understanding is we are over here grieving, you know what I'm saying? And y'all, the police steady riding past and all that. We are not disturbing nobody or nothing. We did not get complained of for no disturbance or nothing. Like, why is the police riding past over here? We not doing nothing to nobody, but you know what I'm saying? Our family is getting together and grieving. So what is the police that he riding past here for? Like, I'm just not understanding. And then some journalists came through and took pictures of my auntie and uploaded pictures without of her, her even on their report and without her not even knowing. Like, she did not get them permission to even be over here, first of all. And exactly. secondly, taking pictures and shit and uploading them of her. Like, nobody gave them permission to do that. Like they violating up. people's privacy, y'all yeah. showing up where y'all not wanted. My auntie steady telling them no, she not talking to them, she not giving them no and information, and there's nothing to give because she don't even know what's going on. Still, and they steady coming over here. Then y'all bringing up dismissed cases, the bringing cases, up old cases right, and shit. And they been got dismissed because. Y'all couldn't prove it. I've been dismissed. They tell me he had a gun. Okay, even if he had a gun, he's concealed to carry. So if he had a gun, and then tell he turned around and he got shot in his chest. No, you motherfucker shot him in his back while he was running and it went through his chest. Exactly. And I wouldn't be surprised if they try to pin some weak ass gun on him that didn't belong to him. They police so fucking crooked and they'll do anything to cover up for each other. Like that's that's some whole ass shit that they did. And I'm sitting around here watching my little cousin son running through here playing and he got to be without a daddy like They got five other other weapons that they could use before they shoot They could have tased him him and his friend running him and his friend running How he end up shot And they saying both of them had weapons, so I'm confused where his where his holster where was his holster at they won't get my auntie his holster talking about nothing can be released that's cool but they didn't even know that he was concealed to carry when she went to the to the morgue 
y'all hit him in that accident and he had a lawsuit against y'all. That's what y'all really mad about. They been had it out for him for the longest. They been fucking with him. Exactly. And if he jumped out, he running for his life because you motherfuckers had him in jail for 10 months exactly. and couldn't even prove shit and had him sitting there. So when he get out and run, he's running because he don't want to be sitting in nobody's jail for some more bullshit. Exactly. And then if you know anybody who knows Seville, he's not going to pull no gun out on no police. Right, Seville ain't about to pull no gun out on no police. That's just some like, shit he not going to do. That's... Anybody could vouch for that. I don't know if anybody that knows him knows he's not about to pull no police. He called my auntie while he's running. That's the only thing he pulled out was his phone. She missed his call, called back. My auntie did not get an answer. Two minutes later, she get a call saying her son dead. Like, then where is y'all getting this stolen car shit from? He has his own car. And his car is registered to him, so where is the like, car stolen at? They just told her they're going to release his property on Monday. Yeah. The car belongs to him. Like, y'all come up with some dumbass stories and some dumbass really, shit to say. And don't even be knowing what the fuck y'all even be talking about. Y'all just saying some shit to be saying something. Then y'all going up with the news saying. Don't the news gonna report and say what the fuck they want to say. Wanna they the police. Them motherfuckers exactly. work for the police. They the police. They exactly. gonna report whatever the fuck they feel like That's is important at the moment. Got stumped out. But they not report none of the other shit. Exactly. That shit just that shit foul. Y'all just trying to make him see. Man, we all gotta be sitting over here with my auntie trying to keep her sane. It's her only fucking child. Her only child. Her only child. Her only child. Y'all trying to make him look so bad, and people who really, really knew him know that he's not what y'all trying to make him. So that's some whole ass shit. We live, TT in the building. For real. Y'all need to quit trying to make it seem like my nephew is a menace to society. The media is only going to tell one side of the story. And when y'all the making these fucking whack ass statuses and all this bullshit that don't mean shit, y'all talking about these businesses, but I want to know right now, answer me this one question. And if y'all can motherfucking answer me these questions, I feel what y'all feel. If y'all walk in each and every one of these businesses that was set on fire tomorrow and said you and your kids was hungry, y'all was starving, and y'all ain't had nowhere to go. And if y'all could tell me each and every one of these business owners would have made sure you and your kids straight, I would feel where the fuck each and every one of you individuals was coming from. Right, y'all steady talking about y'all blowing up innocent buildings and businesses. I people work hard for their money. This and is, guess this what? Is. And yeah, at the end right, of the man. day, when y'all get through, we ain't no bums. We taxpayers too. So when these businesses is getting repaired and using their insurance claim, that's using the taxpayers' dollars. I'm a taxpayer at the end of the motherfucking day. I ain't no motherfucker living off the state. I'm a bitch with our shit together. I pay taxes just like each and every one of y'all. Actually, half of y'all don't even pay y'all tithes to the church. But guess what? This one do. They don't even be paying taxes and shit. So my thing is, when y'all get to screaming, y'all took jobs from people who have families and all that shit. We ain't take jobs from people that didn't have families. They didn't take people jobs from people that have families. Guess what? That's what insurance is for. I, I can a hundred, I can a thousand percent sure guarantee you guys. Each and every one of them employees will be compensated because that's what in motherfucking insurance is for. Insurance is for to make sure that if something, a tragic situation happens, they can repair their business and play their employees until that business is repaired. So know something and do your research before you get to speaking. You motherfuckers is dumb and uneducated. Guess what? It's some educated black motherfuckers out of here and I'm one of them. Criminal justice major. Do my rap sheet. I have so motherfucking many credentials. I fucked up because my nephew gone. But I got every credential there is. I done been in college. I done been in all that shit. And at the end of the day, I don't mean shit when these motherfuckers out here killing us. Like I said yesterday, y'all talking about back on black crime. Guess what? Your uncle and your cousin deserve to be killed because he robbed little bro bro them yesterday. 
But y'all be on the motherfucking news trying to justify that. Oh, he was holding it down. Bitch, no, he wasn't. Bitch, he robbed cuz on them. And you knew he robbed cuz on them. But because he was your cousin, right, y'all be you said it was okay. Ray Ray and Shane Ray Ray then shot up the whole checkers and killed Then y'all be talking there. about. He need to stay his ass kids. up in there. In jail. He need to stay in there. But Some then, the realest shit, you motherfuckers be saying free pedophiles. Exactly. That's out here raping little girls. Taking poo. Nigga, you taking poo for what? And y'all be saying free him. He didn't know. He didn't mean fuck what y'all talking about. But now that my nephew didn't got killed by the motherfucking police and riots and started like Rodney King, the old school days when motherfuckers should have been doing, taking a street back. Y'all against it? I'm applaud. I'm applaud. Because you motherfuckers, if y'all knew better, y'all to do better and do better is doing research. Do some research and quit thinking about what you hear and going off of what you don't know because this Facebook shit is most definitely entertainment. And I can tell you motherfuckers today I was a priest and I could be the devil. And you bitches gonna believe what the fuck I say on Facebook because it's social media. Snapchat, Instagram, all that shit. This shit is make believe. Guess what this shit do? It give all you uneducated, unmotherfucking professional motherfuckers a life. It make y'all feel whole. It give y'all a say so. It make y'all feel like y'all them motherfuckers who y'all want to be. Anybody but guess what? They want to be on social media. If y'all go to school and y'all educate yourself, you can be anything that y'all want to be. But then when y'all take it from people that robbing and killing and stealing, you motherfuckers ain't no here like, I know my cousin just robbed and killed your kids, but no, you motherfuckers talking about free him. Exactly. And you knew in the back of your mind that he just robbed 18 motherfuckers. It's a million motherfuckers out here dying on black on black crime. And y'all ain't protesting that shit. You know why we protesting police? Because them are supposed to be the motherfuckers we could come to to feel safe. They supposed to protect and serve. My three sons don't even feel protected and served by the police because they feel like if they run towards them, they going to shoot. Because they screaming they ain't safe. Like my kids ain't screaming they safe. So fuck what you heard. And why everybody talking about why he run. Y'all fuck with the wrong motherfucker and he gonna live on why he run. Y'all trying to figure out the wrong shit. Exactly. First of all, he running because he's scared because the police Cause keep it, fucking exactly. with him and harassing him. And they're putting him in jail for months at a time. No and, 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 the, and the shit gotta get acquitted because they have no case. And so the he's running because he don't want to be caught up in some weak ass shit. Yeah, we seen that. And my Let me see that. What's that? Yeah, I seen that. Turn this motherfucking shit. Yeah. They're on loser thugs. Yeah. See, go back. Go back. See, look what this shit But this the type of shit, though. But when y'all get through, my nephew was motherfucking CCW. He was allowed to have a carry and conceal. But guess what? By him being a young black man, he knew them police wouldn't expect him to have a carry and conceal. They ain't trying to hear that shit. They gonna instantly scream that he's a thug or he's a juvenile delinquent or he's a menace to society. And that ain't the case. If he was a felon and he was all this shit that you motherfuckers at the media trying to make him out to be, he wouldn't be legally able to carry a firearm. Right, he's not a felon. If he was a felon, he would never be able to get them CCWs at all. Like, that shit would have never, ever, ever happened. Like, y'all said he posted these weak-ass weak ass pictures of him doing that little weak-ass shit. Come on, man. Y'all can stop all that. They supposed to shoot if they feel threatened. They could have tased him. They could have tased him. He's running. Why are you shooting? But curiosity. He called his mama in the middle of him running. You know what I'm saying? That motherfucker, he ain't put my little cousin ain't about to pull out no gun on no police. He way smarter than that. He know better than that. Curiosity. Why would he, if he gonna pull out a gun on them, why the fuck he ain't do it when he got out the car? Why he gonna go why running and then pull out a gun? That How that killed. sound? But we gonna kill y'all with this. Curiosity killed the cat. If it was three of them, why ain't three of them dead instead of one? Exactly. Curiosity kills the motherfucking cat. All three of them fled the scene. Why is my only, only motherfucker dead is my nephew. Do that math. A 23-year-old who beat a lawsuit against 7th District and 7th District took him out. So curiosity killed a cat. When y'all get through making these motherfucking statuses and talking about educating and think before you speak and all that shit, think on that. Why are they three individuals there? Motherfuckers have been quiet. Kill y'all. Motherfuckers have been quiet. 
for way too long and they yeah, talking about the boy the boy that killed my little cousin the police Seville, officer was 24, 24 years 24 old and he years probably old. went to school with him. my little cousin probably shitted on him before that's or something what his daddy and he said. too mad that's what his daddy and then now they trying to put his daddy on the car and trying to say <laughs> that he was saying something that he was not saying like what they say was, talking about um pep was like that uh Seville was in the streets and a gang member or some shit I don't want to hear all of that, that is irrelevant at the end of even if he was. I thought I just seen doggone, uh, what's his name with the clock on his neck? Flake you was irritated. She on the mission. <laughs> Who was Flake? His daddy. <laughs> you child. The police is so you foul. The way, they, the way they trying to make my little cousin look oh is so God, foul. They not highlight none of his other daddy. shit. They gonna keep trying to dig up shit to make it justify what the fuck they did. It's not justifiable at all. Like they bogus ass probably planted a bogus ass gun or something. And my auntie still, they had my cousin laying out there for three hours. Three hours they had him laying out there. That's some whole ass shit. Still never let my auntie see his body laid out on the ground even when they took him to the morgue. She still didn't see him at all. They When they took her to the morgue, they showed her a picture of his body. They told her, we need you to come identify him after three hours. Even when a, when a, um, when a detective came, he like, oh, you didn't see the body? He even shot because the state took over the um took over the case to do an outside investigation how the fuck she didn't see her son body to even identify to make sure that that's him y'all wait until three and a half hours later to show her a picture that's some whole ass shit how y'all showing a picture show his body. you know what the police are gonna say that's hmm. only on tv what's well, only on tv they they do whatever they feel like they could do that's what they do But we gonna get justice for him and we gonna get this shit taken care of. Hello. My little cousin, 23 years old. 23 years old with a two-year-old son. If you look at his page, all he got is his son. That's all he got. His son loves him to death. What? Who's that Uh-uh, BB. Huh? Yeah, shit is so foul, man. Who said that? <laughs> Who? <laughs> she mad. Yeah. I don't know. When we leaving that show? Who the fuck pull up talking like that at somebody huh? fucking family gathering that just passed away? Niggas be so thirsty. I can't drive her car. She only can drive her car. Her powers. Her powers. That's some whole ass shit. Here, Nisha. Who's this? Y'all, pray for my family. Pray for my cousin. Y'all keep making sure y'all share that status because the, the news reporters don't want to hear that. They not getting that part of the story out there about my little cousin and, and how he was in jail and they didn't have no case on him and how they been harassing him forever ever since then instead of trying to put cases on him please get that out there keep sharing i see it's like almost a thousand shares on there please y'all keep getting it out there because if we don't say nothing nothing's gonna be done like they tearing up businesses and doing all that we do not condone in that shit but at the end of the day they opening their eyes and they seeing that this shit was unacceptable we stayed quiet Every time somebody get killed, everybody quiet and nobody doing nothing. They say they protest a little bit. They do a little bit of this, they do a little bit of that. And don't nothing ever happen. Like, they keep getting away with this cowardly ass shit. They wearing these badges, and it's for nothing. This shit foul. I'm never going to see my cousin again, ever. We over here, my auntie, she... Everybody in his room, we just sitting around looking. Everybody trying to keep it together like this shit is foul, man. Now they, now they trying to move to their neighborhoods because everybody feeling them. They said they was having a prayer. 
Like y'all worried about these businesses don't even give a fuck about y'all. These same motherfuckers, if you go up in there and you 10 cents short, these motherfuckers ain't gonna give you 10 cents off. Y'all worried about these businesses and shit. Because now they trying to think smart. If you don't have anything positive to say, don't say shit at all. And then motherfuckers calling me about a whole but if you're not calling with your condolences, do not call my fucking phone telling me what's going on and who doing what and they blowing up this, they blowing up that. Don't call me with that weak ass shit. Motherfuckers ain't even calling to say we so sorry for your loss. We sorry. Woo woo, I'm praying for your family. Motherfuckers too worried about them blowing up shit. Like don't nobody wanna hear that shit. Call and say you sorry or something. If you ain't calling for that, do not call my phone. Please do not call my phone.